It's time now for the Peter Channel sign off news at late night, July 24th, 2016. And just before the Peter Channel signs off for the night, a summary of late night news and on this late night, 24th July 2016. I'm Peter Wiggins. Here are your news and lines. The top story at the 11th hour is Debbie Westman Schultz and that that she is accepted on as chairwoman of the Denver Credit International Committee at the end of the party's convention, which is set to begin here Monday. Another explosion. This time in Ansbach, Germany, where late Sunday killed at least one person and injured ten people near the side of a music festival. Michael R. Boomer pens the door Hillary Clinton and on the Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia. Police had a 21-year-old Syrian refugee carried out to get attacked into the city of Rodolin. The multi-million dollar bus belonging to the Dallas Cowboys has been involved in an accident in Arizona while no one on the bus was seriously injured. Law enforcement officials along with multiple reports indicate that more than one fatality occurred. Which is poor lives. The sand fire has jumped past into a canyon of about a quarter mile of the sand canyon is moving to the north, prompted into more evacuations at the center of the area, fire officials said Sunday afternoon. Turkey is suspended as a late presidential guard, unit fallen, and an attempted coup that left hundreds dead this month, the Prime Minister said. Baghdad, the Iraqi military will use its medieval tactic to keep the control of the Luja after recapturing it from an Islamic state group last month that is taking a trench around the city. Supporters of Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan here in Boston made the presence known on Sunday at Boston Common Cabinet and condemnation of the July 15 coup by affection of the Turkish military. On strikes at five medical facilities in Aleppo, Syria. Philadelphia. If Bernie Sanders gets his way, the first day of the Democratic National Convention will be a tribute to his presidential farming campaign and celebration of the political revolution that leaves nothing but good feelings. My women who searched the daughter led police to bodies on Long Island is killed. Police are uh, investigating crash that occurred in Yenon, Delaware County, Pennsylvania, about 6.20 p.m. on Sunday. Andrew Bush, a septic spokesman, said a 123 bus was traveling southbound on Lansdowne Avenue when a Jeep Luna returned left off and it clouded, which left 28 people injured and two critically. Bastrop, Texas police had a fire and four people killed in a weekend shooting at a Texas apartment complex, Bastrop police detective said. Tokyo mm -hmm. crude prices inched down on Monday in the nature, staying not far from two month lows and hit any. Previous session of mid wars over the global oil cut. Asian stocks rallied after the SB 500 index set a fresh record with a doll as investors looked ahead to the central bank meetings this week in the U.S. The president, meteor shower, expected to have a down pressure 2016 will peak around mid August, yielding anywhere between 152 and meters per hour. Our brain scan shows an amyloid plaque in the tissue of a patient who died of Alzheimer's disease. Tinnitus is criticized by persons ringing the news and heads. Survey revealed that nearly 10% of adults in the United States are affected by tinnitus. In Mansfield, Massachusetts, the police closed over the portion of Buckham Street and called in a regional response team late Saturday night after a man owned a gun led to a friend in suicide. The man who was not identified was later found in Cuts of Soma at 336 Buckham Street after taking the silver pills, was rushed to Sturdy Memorial Hospital at Lieutenant Frank Archer said in a statement. This is the second time in recent weeks that Manusville Police responded to report a suicide person by closing off streets that is called in Metro like a regional SWAT team said. Monroe, Massachusetts, an early 140 year old paper mill building in Massachusetts in danger collapsed as some people worried about an environment damage to the Deerfield River. Monroe town officials and an effective way to the council of governments are trying to secure it as made it $260,000 for hazardous waste removal with the demolition of the crumbled and second wooded structure of the river bank. Regional Health Agent Claire Stales and Rick Rubin revealed that there was a concern of a collapse could pollute the water and hurt dad's re recreational activities. Peter Chilton time is now 11.04 on this late Sunday night. And it's time now for Traffic and Trend Report. Let's study off down with the MBTA trends and alerts. Where are the fairies? They are looking good. Subway system looking good. And on the commuter rail looking good. Alright, look at that. The highways and byways on this late Sunday night. We're studying off down in Connecticut where the only slow spot we can see. In the Constitution State is Interstate 84 on the westbound side is backed up after Route 8 in Waterbury and 84 eastbound slow before 691 down in Bristol, Connecticut. 684 on the northbound side it is slow around Mount Kisco, New York. 
95 at the start, Bantai, Little Soul for the Bronx Rich, 95 North Bantai, so for Fort Lee to the George Washington Bridge in the Manhattan. Midtown Tunnel, so both ends. Lawrence Bantai, West Bantai, so for Head Center, all the way out to Brooklyn. 278 at East Bantai, Little Soul in the Jersey Turnpike, Lincoln Tunnel in the East Bantai, Little Soul, 395 at the North Bantai, Little Soul in the Plainfield Stretch. 95 at the North Bantai, it is back up from Warwick all the way down for Route 10 in Crescent. 95 at Stubble Girl from 495 at Mansfield all the way at the Route 1 in. Sharon and 95 of the South Bantai is back to Brown Queen Street and Sharon. 93 of the North Bantai, Lulso to Boston Stretch. 45 of the North Bantai, Lulso at Route 2 in Lawton and hit Brett's again. On 45 of the South Bantai, just around Route 93 in Andover. Route 2 of West Bantai is back to the Carter Stretch. Mills Packer to change with 91 in Chickpea and 293 and 95 in Worcester House. Logo! Up in nominal enter, main turbo of the North Bantai it is back to around the Gray Stretch on the North Band side. 295 of the South Bantai is off of Freeport all the way to Port Domain. 95 of both ends also from between Waterbury and Augusta. And I 91 of the South Bantai is backed up at Canadian Board up in Vermont. And I 7 is backed up at Canadian Board up in Pottsburg, New York. Peter Chalmers on 1106 on this late Sunday night. And it's Sunday night for a water report. And expect this to be a stuffy Monday on tap because it is going to be hot, humid. And also keep your eyes in the sky for some. Potential showers and thunderstorms in the area for tomorrow. So if you got any outdoor activities, you're okay. Just keep your eyes sky for some showers and thunderstorms. All right. Seven-day forecast. The girls like this for today. Most girls go about six four degrees. Call wind. Monday, select church showers at a church showers and thunderstorms after 2 p.m. Increase guys have at 92 degrees. Light south wind to be coming into southwest from 5 to 10 miles at night. Bottom. Chest pitch is 30%. No, we were out less than 10 minutes just having about the thunderstorms, but then that chance to shot the thunderstorms before 1 a.m. So that's like chance to shot between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. Some of the most good discussing winds and heavy rain. Patchwork after 2 a.m. Oh, wow. Most costs got about 69 degrees southwest about 5 to 7 miles. I had chance to be just 40%. New rain for about less than 10 minutes just having about possible thunderstorms. Tuesday, Patchwork before 7 a.m. was set to 94 degrees. What's about 7 miles? I had chance to most good discussing 69 degrees and northwest for about 5 miles of coming coming deep deep for Wednesday, Sunday, most good coming at 93, about 66 degrees. Thursday, most less coming at 98 degrees. Thursday, that part one after 3 a.m. was most good coming at 68 degrees for Friday. Chat to Charles, part one for Saturday, was part of the most good coming at 83, about 66 degrees. Chat to Patient, 35%. Saturday, part of the most good coming at 83, about 65 degrees. And for Sunday, 30% Chat to Charles, most good coming at 81 degrees. Cut it, not near, it is a First, guys, and it's 69 degrees with humidity 87%, and that is going to be it for the Peter Jones Sun Off News. It's late, Sunday, 24th July, 2016. Good night. See you tomorrow morning with a more report. Good night. And now the townhouse. Seven minutes, eight minutes after 11 o'clock, and it is late, Sunday. Peter Jones will be sending off for the night. This is Peter Jones. Hope you have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good night, and a good morning.